this video, we're going to find the derivative of an inverse trigonometric function. It says find dy dx, where y is equal to secant inverse of root 3x cubed. The first thing we need to do is write down what the derivative for in general for secant inverse is. So the derivative of secant inverse of u would be equal to 1 over absolute value u root u squared minus 1 times du dx, and du dx is an application of the chain rule anytime u is a function other than u itself. Because if it's just u, we take the derivative of u, that'd be 1. It would, we would really not have uh, an application of the chain rule there. So anytime u is some other function. We're going to start with secant inverse here, and we're going to say y prime is equal to 1 over absolute value of u, so that'd be absolute value of root 3x cubed, square root, root 3x cubed, squared, minus 1, times the derivative, with respect to x, of root 3x cubed. Now, the derivative of root 3x cubed. If I write it here real quick, just to kind of make it a little simple. Derivative of root 3x cubed. I bring the half to the front, so that'd be 1 half. This is a chain rule. 1 half 3x cubed to the negative 1 half. Right, so square root is a power of 1 half. I bring it to the front. Subtract 1 from it, I get negative 1 half, times the derivative of 3x cubed. Well, that's going to equal 1 half 3x cubed to the negative half times the derivative of this, which would be 9x squared. So I end up with... When I multiply this into the function, I end up with 9x squared on top over 2 root 3x squared or 3x cubed. So I can plug that in here for this derivative and I have y prime is equal to 1 over absolute value of root 3x cubed root of root 3x cubed squared minus 1 times 9x squared over 2 root 3x cubed. Now let's go ahead and multiply that in there. So a couple things. First of all, we're going to have 9x squared on top over, I'm going to go ahead and start simplifying I'm going to take this piece I'm going to write out front, so I'm going to write 2 of root 3x cubed, absolute value of root 3x cubed, and then I'm going to square this piece, I end up with root 3x cubed, when I squared the square root, that cancels, so I end up with root 3x cubed minus 1 here. So, what can we do to simplify this a little bit farther? Well, if I rationalize the denominator, I could do that. I could rationalize the denominator a little bit. And by doing that, yeah, it might make things a little bit more simple. So let's multiply by root of 3x cubed over root 3x cubed. So I'm really just worried about this piece here. And when I multiply that, I end up with 9x squared root 3x cubed. And then the denominator, I multiply that, and I end up with 2. So I multiply root 3x cubed times root 3x cubed, and I end up with just 3x cubed. Absolute value of root 3x cubed 
root 3x cubed minus 1. Now you can see I can cancel some stuff here. So if I divide 9x squared and 3x cubed, I will end up with, let's see. Well, I could probably, let's get a little bit, let's, let's, let's take this root 3x cubed and let's break that down a little bit. First of all, that would be x, the root of x cubed. So I'm going to write that here. Root of x cubed is actually equal to x root x. So I'm going to write that out. So that would actually increase this to, we got enough room here. I think so. Let's increase this to 9. Now, this is a, uh, x so let me write that again let's do it with root 3x cubed this would be x root 3x so that will be a better version of that so i'm going to take the x and multiply it times x squared i get x cubed and then i have root 3x over 2 3x cubed absolute value of root 3x cubed root 3x cubed minus 1. I now can divide this piece with this piece, so that's going to cancel completely, and I'll be left with just 3 on top. So I get 3 root 3x over 2 absolute value of root 3x cubed root 3x cubed minus 1. And that would be the derivative in its most simple version for secant inverse.